Well, it looks like there's. Uh, I was uh, wrong on something for Magnetic North. Now, I'm going to explain something, too, because it's really explained wrong all over the Internet, all over the place. And actually, on the Internet, they'll tell you that Magnetic North is actually, when you're talking the North Pole on the, on the uh, Earth, it's actually Magnetic North. That's even all over the Internet. Well, I had to go straight to Wikipedia, and uh, Wikipedia said that, uh, and of course, uh, Rocky agrees with this, right, Rocky? Wikipedia, you know, people mock it, and they say, oh, it's wrong, but, you know, make, Wikipedia actually tells you flat out that the North Pole of the Earth is actually magnetically south, and the South Pole of the Earth is actually magnetically north. Now, even Rocky... You're starting to understand this, so, uh, <laughs> anyway, so, the logic you're here actually seeing all over the internet is, is, like, all over the place, but, you know that magnets, opposite poles of magnets, will attract each other, and, and the same poles will repel, so the north pole of the earth is actually magnetically polarized south so your compass needle when it points to the north the compass needle physically is polarized north because the north pole is actually magnetically south how's that <laughs> so here and you know when I looked at these magnets they had this red line I was always thinking you know why would they put the red line for the south but you know what the red line is the north and it spins around so you see the compass follows so the compass actually the needle of the compass is actually polarized north so it seeks the North Pole, which is magnetically polarized south. How's that? So, when you're looking at the North Needle, it's actually facing the south side of the compass. How's that? And vice versa, if I flip this around. So, when they had this red line marked on this, you can barely see it. Yeah, you can see it there a little bit. The red line is actually the north side of the magnet. And the south pointer of the magnet, which is actually polarized south because it's seeking a magnetic north, magnetically polarized south pole. <laughs> Man, you know, I can see why it's explained. You know, sometimes they're explaining it wrong on the internet that... Um, you know what the reason is and they're getting the actual you know end result correct but their explanation is wrong so again the North Pole of the Earth is actually magnetically south so to have something that seeks magnetically south will be a pointer that is actually magnetically north so the the north side the north pointer of the compass is actually magnetically charged north, magnetically charged north on the compass physically, so it seeks a magnetic, um, a, a south magnet, which the south magnet happens to be the north pole. How's that? So... That's, that's your logic there. In other words, so when you're looking for, um, you know, this is the north pole of the magnet, actually, the north pointer actually points to the south side of the magnet, and the south pointer points to the north side of the magnet. So that's really, it's almost like two things are going on there, and I was like, wow. Well, it's not that hard to freaking figure out, but, you know, nobody really thinks that the North Pole. Why the hell would they call it the North Pole then, right? I mean, it's been that same magnetic field up there for, I don't know, millions of years or whatever the hell it was. But they call it the more North Pole. 
but it's magnetically south. So that's the deal. That 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 really leads to loads of confusion all over the place because the explanations why some people are actually getting it correct are actually they're explaining it the wrong way. They're explaining like the north side, you know, the the north pole uh, north attracts north, and it doesn't magnetically. It does not. They're actually explaining it wrong. So that is the deal. End result is that the north pointer on the compass will actually point to the south pole of the compass of the magnet and the north the south pointer of the compass points to the north side of the magnet the pointer itself is actually oppositely charged from the magnets itself but the poles are actually magnetically reversed from the way they are labeled on the earth physically and that is really why you're seeing 50 50 all over the internet as to you know how which way it is so clear as mud later rocky says the hell with that shit i'm just gonna lay here and i'm not i'm i'm just sleeping man i am not even gonna think about that crap that's too confusing for me I know how to get around on the earth. I just follow the magnetic lines. I'm a cat. I don't need to go bother with all that scientific garbage. Later, buddy.